Hey everybody, Bill Murphy with MMORPG.com here. We're getting ready, set to go. Uh, just waiting for ESO to do its insanely long login spiel before I switch over to live. Let me see here. Uh, maybe we can now anyway. Yeah, I mean, I suppose we can. It's just going to take forever. Hey, where's my overlay? There it is. That's the overlay. And of course ESO crashes immediately. That's okay. So back to the uh, the pre-show while we go. It didn't like something. What didn't it like? Mm. We'll get this thing going here. Let's go to settings. Let's make sure it's set to windowed full screen. Play. Requesting login. I don't know how long I'm going to go today. Um, it's already almost 1 a.m. I did a new episode of MMO FTW, which is up there on MMORPGs.com. Uh, it's also on our YouTube, our channel. Uh, it's going to our Facebook tomorrow. And it's on Twitch, too. So if you guys want to watch that and catch up on the week that was in MMO News, go for it. We're going to do some Clockwork City tonight. This is actually a DLC that I haven't played much of. I don't know how far I am in the, the story. Uh, spoiler alert, I just defeated the Shadow or Shade of Sothasil, the fake imposter Sothasil. And now I'm trying to figure out what happened to the real one. That's if I can actually load the game this time. <coughs> well, we'll go live. Let's we'll see what happens. Loading screens. Pretty, pretty loading screens. Is it going to let me get past it, is the question. Maybe. Maybe it will. And where is that overlay? It just, just feels like not showing up today. That's okay. There it goes. Much better. Things taken forever to load. We'll see if it actually lets us. If if ESO doesn't feel like working tonight, there we go. Uh, we're gonna do some Dragonite playing in the Clockwork City. <clears throat> He was my first 50. Second 50 is the Sorcerer. About halfway there with the Warden. But the Dragonite's fun. I just redid him using Deltia's, uh, I think, Brute. <laughs> brute build. I'm going to mess around with it a little bit more because I'm not sure I like the bow on here. Or all the skills. There we go. I feel like uh, either so, something weird's going on there with the uh, with it loading in. But here we go, the rubble pile. I need all this stuff too. Does the cup of mead still work? No, I don't think so. I feel like my frames per second is off. Oh, it's the CPU. The CPU is going crazy at like 100% usage. <clears throat> it might be because I'm streaming to like four different channels. It might be too many channels. We'll see. So I'm following this guy's footprints, right? Like they say. But I'm not sure it's actually doing anything. I 
follow the footprints. They lead here. I don't really know. Ouch. Gotta look through the rubble pile. Still need a few more of those. I follow. Oh, there's the footprints. They keep going. The Whispering Sorcerer. Ventral Terminus. I will, Scary. I thought we were friends already. I'm not sure. I thought we were. Could be wrong there. I feel like the game's kind of running funny. Shitty might be the better word to use. Let's turn off anti-aliasing. Windowed full screen. Let's turn it on high. Reload. Titan XP should be able to slaughter this game, but maybe the CPU usage is what's killing it there. It's actually at 120, 120% on both cores. Mm, I don't know. We should be fine. <clears throat> We're going to reload. With those settings, please. Reload. Reload. Doesn't feel like it. I don't know. I feel like ESO is playing crappy with me today. Just patched it right before this. It was a small patch, but. I doubt that screwed anything up. Doop, doop, doop. Hmm. Any day now, guys. All I did was change the settings and reload, and this is what it's this is what it's doing. Staring at the loading screen. Like a good boy. RAM usage isn't very high. <clears throat> I'm not really sure. If you are catching us on our other channels like YouTube or Periscope or Twitter or Facebook, don't forget to follow us on twitch.tv as well at MMORPGcom without the dot. God, the graphics look like shit. I feel like something weird's going on over here. Oh well. Looks okay on screen, I guess. So let's find Gascon's hard hideout. Oops. Press the wrong button. Dolphin, are you you're joining and rejoining the stream a lot? The DPS on this is insane. But it's not super survivable. That's the one downside is it's not really, really survivable. And I'm wondering what I can do to tweak that a little bit, because I play I play mostly solo adventuring and then occasionally dungeon DPS, but I could um, like to change it up a little bit. So let's look. I got a lot of skill points left unspent. 
Lava Whip doesn't do anything. Uh, armor, medium armor, heavy armor. Ooh, weapon class, earthen heart. You know, if I switch over, maybe the igneous weapons is not what we need. Maybe what we need is the obsidian shield. So we don't really use, we could use spiked armor too. But that's a Magicka build. Is there a stamina spin off of that? No. But. It's actually nice. Because it gives damage. Yeah. Let's do Volatile Armor on our fifth slot. On both. That way we can swap back and forth. It might work. And I still don't have a... Still don't have a lead in on melee, but I can do this. Oh, niff Nuffler. Snuffler. <laughs> We'll keep going with Snuffler. So how are you guys doing tonight? Yeah, this is Bill Murphy with MMORPG.com. I think we have fixed our crashing, our BSOD problems at least, which is miraculous. Um, new sticks of RAM, two 8GB sticks of Corsair Vengeance. get rid of the older sticks that I had. Ouch. Oh, my stamina's gone already. I didn't even realize I was using it all. But yeah, so I think uh, I think we're going to be able to stream regularly once again. Bill Murphy, every... Uh, that's, that's me, like saying my name. But um, I'll be streaming uh, two uh, two nights a week, at, probably at least one night a week. I'm hoping for Tuesdays and Thursdays. Broken basilisk, brassilisk, want one of those. But we're gonna keep working on the main storyline and find Gascon. What is our oh the guild message of the day changed. Still wearing my festive Christmas hat too. Because why not? I love being a vampire in this game. Whoop. Or vampire, a werewolf. As you can tell, it's late. I shouldn't be up talking this much. But that's okay. Yeah. So I'm wondering... by wolves. This game's god rays are absolutely beautiful. Love it. Get on my bear. that. Just a 
piece of paper. The ventral terminus. What's that up there? I like Snuffler. I want Snuffler as a pet. Ah. Well, time to fall, guys. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good thing I have a bunch of. <coughs> bunch of soul stones. Okay. at it too why don't we sign up for a what is the group dungeon sign up thing dungeon finder see how long it takes when you're a tank or a healer it doesn't take long at all but I'm gonna go with uh, you know DPS not a tank damage dungeon finder the premium undaunted exploration supplies the random veteran dungeon I don't know if I'm actually if I actually I think it's supposed to be like 160. So let's go with random normal dungeon and join Q. I don't think I'm ready for that. Eat him. Eat him, Snuffler. Check out the bloody bandage, Snuffler. I feel like this is like an 80s TV show. <laughs> and I'm on it. Like Punky Brewster. Ooh, Snuffler found something. Let's go, dude. Come on. I'm thinking I found his lair. Nice. It's got an intercom. Door's gonna remain closed. So everybody thinks that he maybe set up something to do with Sothasil's disappearance. Well, I'm not really gonna leave this place. I gotta find another entrance. And it's above. like I can take a bridge over this way. There we go. I always do the volley where I shouldn't do the volley. So my other entrance should be right there. A little bit of lag there. All right. Nice to see you all. All you guys on uh, 
on Periscope actually watching. That's pretty sweet. I used to use Restream to do this, but now XSplit does everything I need it to do. Normal dungeons ready. Roll damage. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's go play a dungeon. What dungeon? Don't know. Ah, Spindle Clutch. Kind of the world's most boring spider dungeon. I was hoping for something new that I haven't played. But that's okay. Let's make sure our chicken dinner's ready there. Restoration potion ready. Get our quest. Wait, who's that? You're not from the Covenant. What can I do? All right, let's get moving. On your feet, you louts. We're going back in. Let's do this. Love this, I can just click my way through. I don't know if I've got the highest DPS, but I do know that I'm clearing out these spiders okay and our healer is doing their job. There we go. And I got the Spelunker's Bracers. Do this. And we got some NPCs following us, which is always nice. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe half an hour. It hasn't been long, but. Uh, we did a test one earlier today with the new RAM, and it seemed to be okay, too. So I think we might be all right, Keldor. I don't know. And I ran BDO earlier, too, with the test stream, and it was running... Even BDO itself was actually running better. So I'm hoping we're okay. Got a lovely bunch of arrows, arrows. Diddly dee. Oh, whirlwind can finally be morphed too. I've been waiting for that. Wrong. I did not want to use that. And there's our boss. That was kind of who I wanted to use it on. <laughs> oh 
boy, oh well. Sometimes you press the wrong button at the wrong time. This was one of those times. I actually really like this new DK build. Thanks, Deltia, if you're out there somewhere. Spinner's Pierce. Not too shabby. Where are we going here? Optional side boss, maybe? No? I don't know what's going on. Ooh, a nice chest there. I do love some good old-fashioned ESO. You miss dungeons when you're playing a game like BDO. They don't have this experience, and if they had that, I don't think I'd ever stop playing BDO. <laughs> What's up, music guy? Nice of you to join us. That was a whole lot of bad dudes. Yeah, man, I love ESO. Um, it helps that I, I don't let my ESO Plus subscription wane, so I don't have to deal with the crafting bag problems that a lot of people do. But the Plus subscription for the crafting bag alone is enough. There's there's one, if you're playing it a lot, there's one thing I think that they could add to the ESO Plus subscription that would make it more worthwhile for people, and I think that would be um, free, tre free teleports without ever having to pay them they did that, I think people would be flipping their lids for ESO Plus. I mean, you already get the DLC for free as long as you're subscribed, so that's kind of nice. That is a cowboy hat. It's a cowboy Christmas hat. It's like an Australian Outback hat. It was um, one, of the, uh, one of the seasonal items that I bought with my spare crowns. We are pretty much destroying this normal dungeon. Not that we shouldn't. Ah, good. I'm glad you kept your plus going. There's a, always a reason to have it. And they've always got those updates. The only thing is, is you got to pay for those chapters. And I don't think... 
I don't think that the um, the dungeon chapters are worth the ESO Plus unless you're a big dungeon fan, because just two new dungeons, I don't know. I feel like that the, the best chapters that they do, they do are when they do the stories like Clockwork City and Arsenium. And I wish that those were more frequent than the dungeons. Big Rabu? Forgot the name of some of these dorks. Oh, this is a level 50. This is max level. Uh, but my champion level is only like 101 or something like that. This is not a veteran dungeon, though. This is a um, this is a normal dungeon. Like I think 160 is recommended for veteran. I could be wrong. Maybe it's as low as 90. <coughs> yeah, like subscribers just go ahead and buy their crown, buy their uh, buy the dungeons. That makes sense, Keldor. That way they always have them, even if they let their subscriptions lapse. The problem with buying dungeons is they they don't get added to the pool of people that are. Um, always going to have, you know, like whether they're free-to-play players or buy, you know, or ESO subscribers, if they don't, um, if they don't buy the dungeons, then they're not part of the dungeon pool. You know what I'm saying? So, like, less people to run it with. Oh, well, the Factions campaign is kind of boring and drawn out. They, um, I don't like doing it. <laughs> Or not the faction campaign, the main story campaign, I guess, is what I'm thinking. I get bored with the main story on new characters. That's why I like that you can start uh, in Morrowind now if you have Morrowind. I have a sorcerer at level 52. I have a, I think my, I think my um, warden's at like 34 or something like that. But I got kind of sick of the warden. It, it just didn't feel strong enough. I feel like it needs some buffs. Like as a DPS character, it's not very good. Um, as a tank, I guess it's okay. As a healer, it's just kind of middling. You know, it can do everything by itself, but nothing great. You haven't done Morrowind yet? Ah, oh, Keldor, you really should. Morrowind's story is absolutely fantastic, and it's only about 20 hours long. Well, you should join the uh, the guild I'm in. It's Gasoicha, uh, G-S-C-H. If you Google that, you'll find how to spell it. It's a very casual but very active guild. Like, they're very friendly people. You know, they don't... They're not pressured to do anything. It's very well organized. Everybody plays together. They do things together. It's great. Damn it, I keep switching weapons by pressing the wrong one. Alright, let's kill this woman. Whisperer is a pain in the butt. Ouch. Almost full. There it is. Biter, biter, biter. Downside. when you're playing a boss is that uh, you can't keep your transformation going so it'll run out eventually but we are destroying her it's good to see Oh, 
Hate that, now there's spiders everywhere. That happens though, and that's the beauty of a buy to play MMO, like like Black Desert Online, like uh, Guild Wars 2, is you can just wander back in one day and be like, oh, that's fine. I'm back. <laughs> Soldier. Spelunker's bow. Oh, that's nice actually. Is that it? Was that the whole dungeon? I think we finished it? Yeah. Uh, what is the nightmare? Physical resistance, health, weapon damage. It does. But, well, that's why if you play with Gasoicha, all you have to do with Gasoicha is actually check in on their website. You don't have to check in on the game. Um, definitely look them up here. If I if I can, I think it's www.gaseo.com. funny they're CP 120 so I can't use them yet but I'll hold on to them okay so that is actually better the bow of the night the bow of the night mother so we'll take that spelunkers bracers are eh, the unfathomable darkness thing see that's from the clockwork city I'm glad to know that I'm glad to know that levy <laughs> appreciate you sharing that with me. Uh, this one, this is part of the nightmare set too. We'll do it over there. But let's swap it. Oops. So it's primary. Girdle of the nightmare, much better. We have heavy and heavy. Okay. So let's equip. And the rest I have to wait till I'm CP 120. We can wait. Now if I leave through here, the question is do I get to go back to where I was? <coughs> yes. It's been a while. And I think I got some rewards for doing that, that group dungeon. Got a bunch of XP, a bunch of champion points to spend. So let's see. Oh, who's attacking me? You are. Really? Okay, now leave me alone. Alright, so Whirlwind was ready. I think it's uh, Steel Tornado or Whirling Blades. It reduces the cost and grants major endurance, increasing stamina recovery. The effect radius, yeah, Whirling Blades for sure. Uh, twin Slashes we might as well buy. The Blade Cloak. Brief Period increases the damage, the Deadly Cloak. For sure. Now I thought there was a way to increase your um, hmm. 
increase your health regeneration with a bow, but I could be wrong. I'm probably like 100% wrong. Barely been using my bow. Arrow spray is ready, but poison arrow is not. Yeah, I did, didn't I? I think it's... Oh, did it get blocked by Moobot? That's the guild name. I was using Restoration and Destruction Staff, but not anymore. Okay. So, let's go over to our champion points. Stamina recovery, health point recovery, there we go. Okay. I have three. Here we go. And three in here, too. Okay. Heavy armor focus? No. Expert defender? Not bad. Quick recovery, that's healing, that's bastion, is shield damage. Yeah, let's do expert defender. Oh, it looks like I got uh, premium undaunted exploration soul gems. What just happened? Oh yeah, I'm in a group. How do I get out of a group? Really, dude? Into the groups, settings, group, group. Leave group. There we go. Let's go get my reward. A restoration staff that I don't need, but I'll hold on to it. Cast a trite and a transmutation geode. Okay. That's, it's probably because I'm streaming to multiple locations, so it's buffered a little bit. Um, or it's the restream chat that's delayed. It could be the chat. Because I saw, I saw you say something, and I put it in there before that. Before you said... You know, could you put it in there? So yeah, the chat could be delayed. Alright, we'll go this way. He's actually not alive. I'm sitting there fighting nothing. Ensure that an inert, empty animal core is firmly locked in the dissolute filling station. Ensure that your flow valves are set to the correct push thru throughput position. Push the geodite flow lever into the fill position. Allow the core to charge fully. And then unlock the filling station bracket and remove the core. Okay, so, wait, what? <laughs> One. Inert, empty animal core. Well then. 
All right. I want it to go around there. Let's see if I can make it turn one more time here. Yeah. All right. Then this one. It's going to go that way. Yep. We're doing it. Go ahead, buddy. Do your thing. Oh, did they really? Wait, did he just wipe out? Oh my god, the Imperfect is my new buddy. <laughs> I have the Iron Giant on my team now. I've never been happier in my life. <laughs> oh. Ouch, bastard. I love that. I mean, it just destroys them. <laughs> Werewolf is the best thing in this game. Forget vampire. You guys should come to life too, right? buddies. Just, uh, you know, fuck him up for me. Go back. Hell yeah, man. Werewolves gotta eat, Keldor. <laughs> I think it was actually, believe it or not, it was Rob Lashley who turned this character into a werewolf. He got his werewolf um, from a friend, and then he gave it to me, which was pretty nice. You know, it's like transmitting diseases through friends. It's always cool. Let's tear this stuff together. Super bad. That's what my that's what I'm thinking right now. Go ahead, buddy. Do it to it. Melt a hole in the wall. Yep. Thank you. Alright, well, 
let's take out this guy first. Jeez. Oh, of course there's another one. I'm like, what is going on here? Oh, did he just, like, fry himself to a crisp? Damn it. <laughs> I missed it. <coughs> Excuse me. I mean, it, I guess it kind of is, right? <laughs> the the werewolf bites are like an STD. <laughs> Just an unstoppable monster in this thing. Good question is, how do I get down? Oh, there's another walkway over here. I'm curious if the the new chapter that they're gonna announce after the next uh, DLC. I'm curious if it's going to be adding another class to the game, or if it's just gonna be adding new weapons and new weapon lines. That's what I I'm curious about. I wonder what you guys think. If you're watching. What kind of class will get you to to level it up again? Maybe I should be paying attention to the fight too. I will explain everything. Explain it all, my friend. <laughs> Look at the way he walks. <laughs> Love it. Just follow me outside. Walk this way. <laughs> like. He just, so why is he working with the Daedra is the question. I guess we're going to learn that out. Whoa, that guy's shredded. I want to be a shredded Nord. 
I'm just like a dumb orc. I know how this looks, but you have to understand. Those shadow cultists meant to slit my throat. I had to leave. My life was in danger. Don't you see that? Fine. I made a bargain with Clavicus Vile. Clavicus Vile, of course. Just <coughs> Excuse me. All he wanted was a key. If I got it for him, he'd make me the ruler of Clockwork City. Oh, I'm not sure there is a way to look up the guild in the game, Keldor, but if you go to that website, the Gasoicho website, you'll be able to um, sign up, just tell them I sent you, and then um, they'll invite you in-game. You'll have to put, like, your in-game name and stuff like that. You'll have an invite for you in no time. Some daft-talking crows. After that terrible business with the Shadow, I returned to my office to think. I arrived just in time to see what... Yeah, that's the thing, right? The Warden was weaker than it currently is, and it's still weak. <laughs> it was also completely different. It didn't have the pet and all that stuff. I wanted to heal the city, not destroy it. If I had known I... Yes. My methods were unconventional. I admit it, but you have to understand, he abandoned us. While he tinkers away in the Centralis, we scrape by, eating nutriment paste and high... I thought so. Look, bartering with Clavicus Vile was unwise, I know. Offering Daedric artifacts to Dark Princes, it was a mistake. Even so, I can be a useful ally. I know our enemy better than anyone. You hmm. need me. I'm going to let him live. You've made the right choice. Would take me back to the Brass Fortress. I will admit to my crimes. Perhaps I can help you in due course. Once we arrive at the Basilica, I can explain everything to the room. Chancellor Gascon. Oh shit. Oh no. Luciana Pula. Just let me yours or I'll shut it for you. Permanently. Thank you for digging this traitorous mongrel out of the terminus. Varuni wants to speak with you back at the Basilica. Sorry, man. <laughs> Let's go talk to Varuni, and then we'll probably call it a night. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? Don't try that again, Lord. You know what? Probably do this a lot faster just by teleporting. But who's on my tail? You are. Now it's gone. <laughs> Still have quests to do there, but let's just do that. It's really, really awesome to be able to stream again without my entire computer locking up on me. I hope that that's the last time that happens. It seems to be okay. We'll try BDO, which was always a culprit before, but... Um, we'll do that another night. Where is Varuni? That's what I thought. Okay. It's a great class for soloing, though, the Warden is. I mean, it's it's so self-reliant. That's great, but... I don't know. When you're in a group, nobody wants you to play, especially at the higher levels. Like, oh, a Warden? Yeah. But, I mean, the, the Templar is super self-reliant, too, and they still manage to make it extremely worthwhile in groups as, a, as everything. Welcome back. All right. I was just having a little chat with former Chancellor Gascon. He insists he's told me everything, 
but I know him well enough to know he's still hiding something. Typical Gascon, always trying to oil his way out when his plot Deliver a key to Clavicus file, but Crow stole it before he had a chance. Ooh, and I get the live wire set. See, that's not what I was looking for. Weapon critical, the Sith is curious, is still better. Gascon's an insufferable traitor. Better armor on the traitor's curious. Lord Set always said we should take care of each other. Take this. And my thanks. I think I'll keep my other one. Obviously, we need to recover this mysterious key. I don't know where it is, or what it does, but if Daedric princes intend to mount an invasion over it, we can't afford it. Gascon insisted that Talking Crow stole the key from him, right? The birds started start stealing things as soon as they arrived. The constables, the birds started stealing things as soon as they arrived. Hmm. Well, the fact that they arrive so soon... Chancel of Transaction, perhaps one of our constables can tell you more. All right. The sermons never prepared us for something like this. It clearly possesses some great power. Keys exist to lock. We don't often rely upon locks. But I guess it's possible. I really wouldn't know. What happens in the Cogatum Centralis remains a mystery to pretty much everyone. Certainly. I mean, I guess it's possible that... No, no, I'm certain. That's right. I always say, Kasoicha, Gashkia. You're right. There you go. <laughs> Switcha? No. Gashkia. Not until today. I should know that I've been a member for three years, but yeah. I'd very much like to see more of these birds. What? Oh, no, no, no. I have too many responsibilities here. And to leave set side. Let's go hop back outside. skill point that we don't really need. Is the bow able to? No. Not until 38. And I don't use it often enough that it's, gonna, it's not going to get there very fast. Is it? <laughs> Lava whip, fiery grip. Crafting. Okay, let's see. Trader's Curace. It's actually not that great. The five items is good. The five item bonus is awesome, actually. It's this nightmare stuff that's pretty sweet, though. Definitely need to work on getting that. Spelunker set's not bad. shabby can't wait for the costume system though all right guys i think that's actually going to be it for me tonight because it is two o'clock in the morning and i'm sure my children are going to be up in no time begging for me to wake up with them so yeah oh wow that's pretty sweet looking uh oh he's just wearing the assassin's garb but anyway yeah i got i got sidetracked uh i think we're back <laughs> I, MMO FTW is also back on our YouTube channel and on our Twitch channel, so be sure to check out the latest episode of that for all your weekly news in the MMO world. And we'll be back with a, a live stream. Uh, I do believe that Steven Weber is going to be playing um, Next Up Hero on our stream, which is a sort of asynchronous MMO combat action RPG thing. You'll see. It's called Next Up Hero. It's on Steam, coming out to consoles a little bit later. <clears throat> and then I'll be back on Tuesday night with some BDO or, or something else like that, depending on what I'm in the mood for. But definitely uh, definitely good to have my problems, I think, sorted out. So have a good night, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe uh, and follow us and everything like that. We appreciate all your help and all your patronage, as always. Um, have a good night. <laughs>